All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, let's give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And sincere Shalom to all you men preaching this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And uh, Shalom to you, Ak Akiam and Akwaf. All right, sincerely believing in the word and the truth. All right, and striving. Um, Every day, okay? It's your brother Shamagara coming to you with another lesson. All right, a little willingness to be edified. And I'm going to touch on how important the prophets are, okay? The true prophets, that is, because there, there are false prophets. And um, as this world descends into more chaos, all right, the word has to be pushed that much more. And, um, you know, all type of men of evil is happening in this world. And, um, you know, like it said it would, it's prophecy, man. So without further ado, let's get um, Psalms 94, all right, verses 16. It says, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? So that's the question, all right? The Most High is asking a question. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? All right, and your evildoers, okay, starting off with the, um, your elite, okay, which are the Edomites, Esau, Edom, all right, which will happen to be in this current time, it's the bankers, man. And um, those will be your evildoers, but not only them, okay, you have a lot of, e well, all Edomites, let's say, all Edomites, whether, you know, they have a, a, low, a high status in this world or a low status, man. They're the wicked, all right? And these heathen nations that are um, coming in that same spirit. As Esau, Edom, and two-thirds of our people, man, those are the evildoers, man. So the Most High has the spirit on certain men, you know, at least 144,000 and more, all right? And, um... They're going to speak the words of the Heavenly Father and condemn this place. So that's how you rise up against the evildoers, okay? You know? You follow the Most High. So who will rise up for me against the evildoers? That's a question. Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? All right? And um, this truth, you know, I believe the late 1960s, or when the elders of our elders, okay, started pushing a word, okay, on on a on a, a higher level, you know, with the One West School, all right. Now the truth was out there before, but it was, you know, in the night late 1960s. That's when this thing, you know, fully got started, all right. And that's that's the that's the stories that I hear. Of course, I'm not, you know. I don't know them personally or nothing like that, but this thing, the ball is rolling, man. And how much more now, all right, via the internet with YouTube and other uh, platforms, social media platforms, that we could push the word, man. Okay? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Okay? Because these, these the wicked has gotten very bold, man. Okay? They don't believe in the most high. All right, they they don't they believe in the here and now. They're carnal they're carnal people, man. And uh, the prophets are not gonna stop, man. The prophets are not gonna stop until this devil, the Most High, puts the spirit on this devil. All right, take the men of the Lord off the highways and byways, man. Okay. So uh, Isaiah sixty two verses six. Um, I have set watchmen upon thy walls. O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. So, this this uh this devil, these Amalekites are in a pickle, man. I should say because either you know they don't bring attention to the uh this truth and ignore it and let it gain traction or address it, and it still gains traction. So the Most High said you can't do nothing against the truth before the for the truth, roughly paraphrasing, 
So Esau has no way to combat this truth, man, which is still in the elect every day. So what does he know? What What's in his spirit? You know, his spirit is to get cornered, to get physical, to get violent. That's how he's taking over the world, man. Okay? Deception. Okay? Through lies. And through the sword, man. Okay? That's how he gained control of this, this, this earth, man. Okay? Which it was prophesied. All right? And um, the watchmen are your prophets, man. Upon that walls. And the walls, you know... It's like the gates, man. It goes around the city. So, every way you look, okay, uh, the prophets are warning you, man. Okay? And brothers have different spirits and different gifts to push forward the truth, man. Okay? So, if you take a liking to that brother, how he brings out, if you take a liking to this brother, you know, some brothers are more research-based. Some brothers are more, you know, speak about faith. Some brothers speak about, um, you know, history. And that caters to different spirits of the elect, okay? So you got a, all type of watchmen, okay? So there's, there's no excuse for you to not get this truth, man. All right? But in the midst of that, there's so many false prophets, okay? So this thing gonna be ain't gonna be that easy, all right? Um, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So Jerusalem represents the people of the Most High, which are you Israelites, man. Okay, the the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, um, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Ephraim, Asher, Naphtali. Okay, Gad. Uh, Reuben, uh, Manasseh, um, let's see, Zebulon, all right, so that, that's the name of few, and um, those are the, the chosen people of the Most High, man, and, and the, 12, the 12 signs chart, it's correct, man, okay, but not only that, you got our people scattered across the whole world, looking like all the nations. And that's one big mystery, okay? But the watchmen are prophesying, man. Okay? Um, which shall never hold their peace day nor night, okay? So, in the early mornings, in the wee hours of the night, okay? Because you got brothers um, located in different parts of the world. This truth is getting pushed. 24-7, okay? 24-7, all right? Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, okay? So we, we can't put this truth in a napkin, man. We got to keep preaching, man. Keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Okay, so this devil is not getting any rest because the men of the Lord are on their job, man. Okay, and give him no rest till he established until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Okay, and, and we can clearly see that Jerusalem, our people, are the, the, the butt end of all the jokes in the earth. Okay, the nations treat us like dirt. Okay, they, they treat us like like a joke. And um and that's gonna continue to happen until Yahusha, I mean the most high says Yahusha to get his devil some act right. And we already know what the act right is about. It's about the, the, the second coming and invasion of this world, man. Okay. Alright, we're we're gonna see Satan fall as lightning. Alright? Let's jump to uh, Matthew 24, verses 22. All right. And except those days be shortened, should be shortened, 
there should no flesh be saved. All right, it's getting that bad out here, man. You're talking about, you know, uh, and I, I saw this video from uh, Elder Yashawamba of the Dallas camp. All right, Remnant Save, I believe, 144. Um, he did a video about it. Um, how this devil wants to start birthing uh, humans or babies. All right, artificially. So this is lining up with the matrix when a lot of people said the matrix was stupid. All right, a lot of Safa has truth in it. Okay, but it's so off, so far out for the average person, they can't relate to it. They can't see it because these people are for the here and now. And um, I myself always love Safa movies, but the Matrix had it. All right, Matrix predicted that. You know, and putting these different traits in these babies. And uh, this is this is Esau Edom playing God again. All right, which he's a false god, he's a pseudo god, and um, these days have to be shortened. Let's, let's read it again Matthew 24, verses 22. And except those days be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So this thing is speeding up for the elect, it's not speeding up for the two thirds, it's not speeding up for these heathens. The, the this thing, time is flying by for the elect's sake because they're they're the faithful, and they're written in a book of life, man. And um, that's a blessing. We gotta praise the Most High, all right, through His Son Yahusha, by way of the Holy Spirit, okay, for allowing us to get this truth and keep this truth. You know, Lord willing, you stay in this truth, and except those days be shortened. There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And, and it feels like time is flying, man. And I think last year, this was the shortest year recorded in the history of when, whenever they went back or how far they went back. But this last year was the shortest day, I mean, so like the shortest year that they ever recorded. So it's not the most hot. The Most High has a lot of one time, one time to us, man. All right? Just because you break it down wrong, or these pastors and preachers and these churches and these congregations are breaking down the truth wrong, does not make the Most High a liar. And that's, does, that does not give you a right to not believe in his words because somebody else um, broke it down. You, you, should, you should be like the church of Berea. As Elder Apostle Tahar always brings out, to search it out for yourself, whether they be true or not. And um, the elect have no problem doing that, man. All right? Don't rely on another person for your salvation. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay? Because nobody else can save you. You have to be written in a book of life, but you got to put in that grunt work. You know, men of the Lord... The elect and, and women too as well and children. Alright? And except those days be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. And you don't want to know what type of devices and what type of plans, diabolical plans that Esau Edom has, man. Alright? It'll make his stomach curl. Alright? You know? Give you fucking goosebumps. Because this devil is diabolical, man. He's evil. Okay, he wants to feed you uh, Franken food, as Elder Apostle Tahar said. He wants to he wants to um, control everything. Give you these plant based foods, all right, that are worse than actual real food. Why? They're made in a lab. They're chemicals, man. Um, but you know when you hear plant based, you think of oh, okay, but that's because these people trust in this devil. And it says, never trust thy enemy. And he has proven time and time again that he's our enemy, man. He's a big enemy to the Israelites, all right? To you, okay? Um, Job 24, verses 14. The murderer rising with the light killeth the poor and needy. 
All right? Now, how many people, how many times does this man, this devil, this Edomite, has to genocide people in different countries to, for you to believe that this man is the devil? All right? How many times? He's pretty much slaughtered everybody. Okay? But yet, you look at him as a savior. You look at him as a godlike figure who could do no wrong. But then you look at his history of what he did to your country, you'll find out that he massacred everybody. Okay? It's a lock here. The murderer rising with the light. So this, this man is up to no good early. Alright? It says they can't they can't go to sleep unless they do wickedness, man. Okay? The murderer rising. With the light, killeth the poor and needy. Okay? The poor and needy are you Israelites, man. Okay? It says you, you work. Let me get that. Okay? Haggai 1 verse 6. Ye have sown much and bring in little. So you got some jakes working overtime, 60, 70 hours. And, and what happens? Still, it's not enough, man. All right, you're getting taxed more and more. All right, you're not getting sleep. You're destroying yourself. All right, you have so much and bring in little. You eat, but you have not enough. You drink. And why? Because the food is done, man. The food has, I'm willing to say, 10% of the nutrition that it had in the ancient world, if that. So what are you doing? You're eating more and more. Okay? The food is the food is done, man. The food is essential to live in and the water's done too. Ye have but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages earneth wages to put into a bag with holes. So, for the majority of Jake's, there's no savings, man. You know? That savings is going to get depleted with one emergency. And it's coming out that majority of Americans, if they were to lose their job, they're like a, a paycheck or two away from being homeless. So now these curses, these, these harsh, draconian-like laws and rules, and, and um mindset of these devils has got the average American in a position where Jake used to be all by himself. So this is how we know that um, this world and these prophecies are happening, man. And um, let's see. Earning wages to put it in a bag. So you, you can't really say it, man. And if you, and if you can, you're fortunate, man. Okay? Because most people can't. The murderer rising, this is Job 24 verses 14. The murderer rising with the light killeth the poor and needy. And in the night is as a thief, man. He steals everything, man. He stole your identity. You press a man in his heritage. He stole your land. Okay? He stole your dignity. He stole the resources of the earth. Okay? He stole the truth, man. So he is a thief, man. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and destroy. You know? And that's that's Esau Edom in a, in a nutshell. Okay? Hosea 9 verses 13. Um, Ephraim, which is one of the tribes, and that could also represent the northern kingdom. Um... And, and focus on that word, uh, murderer. I'm about to bring this out. All right, bear with me. All right. Ephraim, as I saw, Tyrus is planted in a pleasant place. That place is uh, Puerto Rico, rich port. It's an island. It's a paradise, man. But Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer. So you got different instances where the Most High is calling this devil, these Edomites, your so-called white man, your Caucasian, whatever you want to call them, 
just depending on a different generation, he changes his name. This man changes his name about every 100, 200 years. All right, he changes everybody else's name about 100, every 100 to 200 years. Okay, so that's how he's also a thief. But Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer. And that's why you got a lot of Puerto Ricans here, man. Yeah, that was prophecy. That was prophecy Hosea just spoke, man. And um, not only Ephraim, but a lot of the northern kingdom. A lot of times Ephraim represents the northern kingdom. The northern kingdom, you native tribes, all right, native Hispanic or native American, um, y'all fight two for now to get over here and realize this place is uh, abominable, it's filthy, it's Egypt at the end of the day. But you're willing to sacrifice you and your kids to make a, a better way, which is somewhat understandable, but this place ain't what it seems to be, man. And you're better off in your own country, all right, with, with this agenda that's being pushed, this alphabet community, all right, you experience true racism over here, not that you're not getting it in your own country, uh, but it's that much more bold over here. You find out that the average eater might hate you, hates the fact that you're migrating over here, man, and, um, but Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer. Why? For a better way of living. Because all these other, you know, our people's countries are third world countries pretty much. Why? Due to the devil, man. It's, it's the same old story. So we got to turn to the Mota, all right? Acknowledge that he is the true God and he has a savior, our, his son, who is our savior, okay, uh, that he's coming to sin. And he is the word, he is the light, he is the way, he is the door. And he's the key to all of this, man. All right? And you got to worship Yahweh Shah in spirit and in truth. All right? And the prophets are out here her heralding the new, the ushering in the new kingdom. All right? Which is the kingdom of Yahweh Shah, which is the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of God. And by default, it's the kingdom of Israel, man. So, all right, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakudash, Shalom.